Hi, welcome to the part 12 of this video series. We will look at some of the latest questions for AC900. These are all real certification questions. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. For questions 1 to 53, you will refer parts 1 to 11 of this video series. Please remember that the chances of same or similar questions coming in the exam is very high. Please focus on the concepts explained. So in this question, it's talking about if all Azure services that are in public view are what we have to select one statement here. So the first one says it is provided without any documentation. So this is what the first one says. So that is wrong. Always there is documentation available for any service. Okay, it doesn't matter if it is in public preview. The documentation is still available. The second one says only configurable from CLI and the last one says only configurable from Azure portal. No, it is configurable from both. So both are wrong because it is saying only configurable only and only. So you see both are wrong. The third one is correct because if it is in public preview, it is excluded from the SLAs, the service level agree agreements, SLA. There is no SLA applicable if it is in public preview. Consider public preview as a trial mode. So this is the right answer. Let's move forward. Here, this is talking about they have SLAs defined, okay? At a virtual machine and SQL database level, we have SLAs defined. It is asking how should you calculate the composite SLA? So the composite SLA, always remember, we will not use min and max, okay? It is not, that is not the way to calculate. The correct way to calculate is A we will multiply you see this multiplication sign this is the differentiation you have 99.9 three nines that's why we have put three nines after decimal and you have 99.99 four nines so we have put four nines after decimal so the product is this which is equivalent to this percentage So here we know that A is the right answer. Please remember this formula. It is always a product. Okay. Now in the exam, you will get similar questions, a lot of them. And it will be also having a similar format. This exactly same format we get three. Suppose there are three questions. So we have to in one question, they are asking three questions actually. Basically. So let's have a look if your company uses as your free account so they are using a free account you will only be able to use a subset of azure services no okay you can use everything so that's why this is no the second one says all azure free accounts expire for a specific period yes it expires after a certain period it is not free for life otherwise how will azure earn the money and the third one says you can create up to 10 free Azure accounts by using the same Microsoft account. The answer is no for this one as well. Okay. So this is the final answer. Let's look at the next question. It is asking about which task can you perform by using advisor. See advisor is all about security. Okay. Advisor is all about security. That's why in this option, where do you see security? You are seeing security only in this option C. Option A has nothing to do with security. It is just integrating your Azure directory with Azure Active Directory. So advisor is not meant for that. Uh, so the A is wrong. B is saying about cost. Advisor is not meant for cost. So cost is wrong. Okay, advisor is not meant for cost. And the last one says evaluate on premises resources can be migrated to Azure. This is not the service for that purpose. Azure advisor is a different service. So thumb rule is advisor. If you see advisor, you should think of security. That is a thumb rule. So here it is telling that you have deployed some Azure resource. Okay. And the resource becomes unavailable for an extended period due to service outage. Some problem at the Azure cloud drive itself. So if there's a problem at Azure site, then what do they do? They will credit the money to your account. They will not refund it to the bank. Okay. And second one says they will migrate the resource to another subscription. No, they will not do it. 
they will send a coupon code to free no they will give you directly they will give you as your credit to your as your account this is there's no logic to it this is the way as you decided to work any cloud platform aws also they will give you credit so that you can utilize it next time so this question you will get exactly same in the exam there will be three questions and you have to select yes or no so the first one says add adding resource groups in an azure subscription generates additional cost so the answer is no the resource group is something like a logical entity you know in the database you create views views are logical entities they are not occupying physical space similar to that resource group it is just a grouping of some of the resources it is logical it is not physical so there is no cost to it so the answer for this is no now copying 10 gb of data to azure on premises see here it is talking about uh, 10 gb of data is moved from on premises to cloud so you you this is this is your on premises and this is your cloud and 10 gb is moving inside so anything which is going inside is free okay anything which is moving out of cloud is chargeable so the answer is no and the last one says reverse from it is from azure from azure it is moving to on premises so it will attract costs so, so this is yes okay so this is the final answer the next question the first option suggests in azure active directory premium p2 at least 99.9% .9 availability guaranteed yes it's a premium service premium service gives you that amount of availability the second question says the sla for premium is same as SLA for free which is wrong because if it is free it will have lesser SLAs that's why this answer is no and the last one says paying all paying as your customers receive credit if their monthly uptime percentage is below yes this is right if they are not able to provide that amount of SLA they will give credits back they will not give you money in your bank they will give you credits in your AWS or Azure account in this case in your Azure account so this is the right answer let's see the next one the next one says storing one terabyte of data in blob storage will always cost the same regardless of the Azure region no see in Azure different if different regions the billing is different for example India is a cheap country okay relatively from a cost perspective india is relatively cheap africa is relatively cheap but europe is expensive us is expensive these are all developed nations so the cost of maintaining the data centers is high in developed nations compared to developing or non-developed nations that's why the answer here is no the second question says when you use general purpose v2 as your storage account you are only charged for the amount of data that is stored all read write operations are free hmm. this is interesting that is not so uh, this is no because all read writes are not free all read writes operations are not free in azure storage account the last one says transferring data between azure storage accounts in different regions is free no even inside azure a region to region transfer also there are some charges though it is less but it is not free that's why here also the answer is no this is the final answer the next one is talking about if an azure virtual machine has a status of stop it is stopped it is not terminated mind you it is not terminated it is just stop so what are you paying so if the virtual machine has stopped so the billing for the compute gets stopped but the billing for storage still happens the story so this always remember if you are you are terminating it then you lose both storage and compute if you have stopped it then you lose compute but your storage is still there and you are paying for the storage so this is the right answer see now it is talking about express route so forget express route this is crap the main thing is inbound data from on premises to azure so this is your on premises this is your azure cloud the inbound data transfer is free is always free that is correct second one says outbound data traffic from azure to on premises network is always free that means from cloud to 
this place is always free from cloud to this place is always free which is wrong data moving out of cloud is never free okay so this is no and data traffic between azure services within same region is always free see it is same region not different region so that is also right in the same region between any services data transfer is always free in the same region okay in one region there might be different availability zones within that data transfer is free but from one region from this is one region to another region it is not free okay this is the final answer so this one states what can you use in azure to send email alerts when the cost of the current billing period for an azure subscription exceeds suppose you had set an a limit of say hundred dollars and it exceeds so what will happen so you have to use budget alerts for that purpose okay see advisor recommendations whenever you see advisor advisor is for security whenever you see access control i am it is to provide access to certain services it is not used for uh, billing and those kind of stuff compliance is a separate stuff compliance is for tracking the hipaa compliance or pci compliance and so on the compliance does not have anything to do with billing only budget alerts is the right answer here this is the right answer this brings us to the end of this part please subscribe to my channel and like my videos this brings us to the end of part 12 see you in the next part by the way we have also uploaded google cloud platform digital leader real exam questions please go through that playlist also if you are interested in clearing the gcp certification it is a must to have multi cloud certifications nowadays to get an edge in your career